listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio. We are here once again. And once again, we have a special guest for today. We have a amazing person, Shannon Easton. She was the first woman Division One referee and the first woman NFL official. She has an amazing book that you need to read. It was an amazing read. I had a great time being able to, to read it myself. Lady Ref Making Calls in a Man's World. First and foremost, Shannon, how are you doing this morning? I'm great. Thank you, Shamaya, for uh, reading the book and for having me here. I appreciate that. I well, appreciate you. You have an amazing story. Kind of tell the audience what inspired you to write this amazing book. Well, first and foremost, I wanted those that impacted my life to see in writing the impact they had on me. And I wanted to thank them. And then I just wanted to try to inspire people to dream big and work hard and trust God. And with your faith, your mom had a tremendous amount of faith in you at a young age. How was it like for her to uh, always push you and, and have you just always be excellent at everything you did? Now, my mom was very instrumental in my early years, for sure, and helping me to just put me in the position to be successful. She did everything she possibly could to take me to tournaments, traveled with me, got me all the best coaching. She did everything in her power to help me be successful and to give me every opportunity that any kid could ask for. You had a great father figure in your life, Paul. Explain to the audience how y'all would watch football games together and he would break down plays for you and y'all just spend so much time together. My dad was a quiet guy and we didn't talk a lot, but our connection was football. And when he was watching the Patriots, that's when I saw him come alive. So sitting on the couch watching the New England Patriots with my dad was where I grew to love the game of football. And he passed away last year. And um, I am so thankful for the impact he had in my life. It was tremendous. You were very active as a child, as an athlete. Tell us uh, the sport you played and all the amazing uh, trophies you had because you end up giving them away. So kind of tell that to the audience. Yeah, so my sport growing up was judo. That was my number one sport. I played a lot of sports, but judo was the one that I had the most success in, was fortunate enough to win some national championships and was uh, the youngest athlete to be accepted to train in the Olympic Training Center at age 11. Again, my mom, she helped me in every aspect to see me get to those those amazing um, places and things like that. So, and yeah, I, I got rid of the trophies. They were... The, it was fun to look at them for a while, but, you know, dusting them and having a spot to put them. So Special Olympics, they do great things. And I thought that's a great place to donate them. They can take off the plates and reuse them. So I no longer have those, but it's all good. When you talk about the church that you were a part of, you know, in the book, you talked about not always being at church, but you still had uh, this faith that you held on to in your life. How did that play a role with your journey going through all the ups and downs in life to where you are today? God was extremely instrumental and still is to this day. That is the biggest, uh, it's the biggest part of my life. And you're going to read in the book, you're going to read some very difficult things I have to share because I made some huge mistakes and God was there forgiving me. Even in times when I wasn't serving him the way that I knew I needed to be, he was there and he was my strength. There was some amazing moments in the book. There's a quote that I had to say that was really profound. You, you said, uh, I have found you need to be able to let comments roll off your back and keep your head in the game. Man, I would love to see that on poster because what you went through and what you survived and what you accomplished is truly remarkable. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate that. That's, that means a lot. When people uh, pick this book up, what would you want uh, young women to appreciate and also from the men's perspective for them to appreciate from your life story? I kind of said it earlier. I, I just want people to, men, women, I know this is, we're focused on women here, but it's to dream big and not, I mean, the doors for women right now are wide open. So just, and because they are wide open, that doesn't mean we don't have to work hard. You still got to prepare yourself. You got to work hard. And like I said earlier, most importantly, 
trusting God is is the key. When you look and see everything that you've been able to go through and make it to become an NFL official uh, referee, if you have one memory that sticks out, what would that be and, and why? Probably if I talk about, there's many memories off the field, but on the field would have been the game I got to work. It wasn't even an NFL game. It was at Florida A&M and it was their homecoming. And it was just, the environment was unbelievable. If anybody is ever in Florida around that time, check out a Florida A&M homecoming game. It's a tremendous experience. So many amazing stories in, in the book. And I I just felt like you really, you show a lot of, inspiration, hope for those who might be going through struggles. And you were able to keep your focus on on your tasks, on your goals, on on your dreams. What was it like being able to overcome those issues that prepared you for those big moments? There were, as you're going to read in the book, there are, and you said it, there's struggles. You're always going to have struggles in life. And all you can do is control the things you can control and press into the people that are going to love and support you and do the best you can with whatever you're going through. And um, I, I, I just appreciate your words. Your words mean, mean a lot to me, the things you've said today. So thank you. Well, I couldn't, I could not stop reading. It's a page turner. And it's like <laughs> all these roller coasters from, you know, church and life happens and you have to pick up the pieces and keep moving. I'm not going to get the details because I want people to read this book. But <laughs> once again, we've been talking to Shannon Easton and her amazing book, Lady Ref, Making Calls in a Man's World. Once again, thank you for your time. Gosh, Maya, thank you. You touched my heart. Thank you.